Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here's the latest seafood news for the week of September 2nd, 2013. First, here's a quick, quick update on the Canadian Johnson Strait MSC Pink Fishery. The Fraser River panel met on August 29th to review data on the sockeye and pink salmon. The panel estimates sockeye escapement to date at 2,775,300 fish as of August 28th. Run estimation is 3.72 million fish. A Johnson Strait pink fishery will only be allowed after test fishing to determine if the sockeye encounter rate is low enough to allow fishing in the area. There is a scheduled test fishery on September 1st consisting of two vessels. The panel will meet again Tuesday, September 3rd to review test fishing results. Full fleet Canadian pink salmon fisheries are not yet open as they are being constrained by conservation concerns for Fraser River sockeye. Buyers of MSC pink salmon will have to wait another week to see if fishing will be allowed. We will report the results of Tuesday's meeting once available to us. And now switching topics. There is some concern over the Pacific sardine population. The highly migratory Pacific sardine should be feeding in their summer feeding grounds off the west coast of British Columbia. According to processors and fishing vessels, the sardines are not showing up at the fishing grounds. This could mean that either the sardines are further off the coast, where there is little or no fishing effort of it, which could mean the fish never migrated as far north this year. There were strong catches of sardines in California and in Oregon, indicating the biomass is still somewhat healthy, and a good indicator that the fish are simply too far off the BC coast to fish. That being said, biologists believe the species is hitting the low point of their 60-year population cycle. Biologists use herring and anchovy populations as indicators to determine whether the population is increasing or decreasing. Herring and anchovy populations have been showing growth, which would indicate sardines are on the downward, downward part of their cycle. Processors in Oregon and California report large sardines. A second fishery is expected in September and October, with processors again optimistic of strong landings. Product in early summer months was 70 to 75 count per 10 kg, but gradually increased to 55 to 60 count. Prices range between 900 and 1100 per metric ton, depending on the destination market and size of the product. Processors expect prices to increase in the next few months, especially on the smaller sizes, which are expected to be short. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Rob Ryerson, buy smart and eat more seafood.